Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the University of Central Lancashire, I'm delighted to warmly welcome you to Preston Guild Hall and to this graduation ceremony. On this special day, we are here to proudly celebrate the achievements of our students from the Faculty of Business, Law and Applied Social Studies and the Faculty of Health and Wellbeing. I now call upon the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Mike Thomas, to give his address. Good morning, everybody. Honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, members of the University Board, honorary fellows, and our graduates. It's a great pleasure to welcome you to this graduation ceremony at which we acknowledge and celebrate the achievements of you, our new graduates and postgraduates. I always look forward to graduation ceremonies and the chance for the University of Central Lancashire, our staff, board members, honorary fellows, and honored guests to celebrate such an important day for you, our graduates, your families and friends. We're here today to celebrate and welcome our graduates and their guests from the Centre of Excellence in Learning and Teaching and the School of Sports and Wellbeing. This is your day. I hope you enjoy both the ceremony itself and the celebrations which I know will continue afterwards with your families and friends. It's customary for a Vice-Chancellor to use graduation as an opportunity to comment on economic affairs, politics, or to speak about the university in general. So I will now say a few words and hope it's of interest. It's certainly been an interesting period for us and for you who have studied and gained your awards that we celebrate today. There's been a number of quite radical changes in the university sector itself and certainly more widely in society. I'm mindful and hopeful that much of the university sector changes would not, would not have impacted too adversely on the experiences while you were studying at the university. But we have had to adapt to a number of regulatory changes, introductions of new regulatory bodies, and more scrutiny on how universities work, and more focus on what we do internally, as well as with our communities. This regulatory burden will continue to grow as successive governments wrestle with the thorny question of university funding, and for many of you personally, university fees. The university here has responded to these governmental concerns by developing new models of education. We hope in due course that the university will be able to offer different degree routes. One example is for an undergraduate to study one year full-time in the university itself, paying only one year's fee, and then to continue for the remainder of their degree studying externally. In doing so, future students will receive a salary, not pay fees, and the university will seek external funding elsewhere. Students will still graduate. They will still attend days like today. We will still celebrate with the mortarboard and the gown and the different colors and the theater that you deserve. But the financial burden will be substantially reduced. We're also developing a second new and innovative model and we're in deep discussions with government departments at the moment on when exactly we can start the model. It means that in future, students will graduate with a degree and other vocational awards that they can take with our partner colleges. That should significantly add to their skill sets and employability. So your university is not complacent in the face of external and regulatory changes. Equally, more generally in wider society, we're actively engaged in discussions on how we can support the economy post-Brexit. We're looking at enhancing degree apprenticeships, supporting local communities, and new economic initiatives, such as a trade fair between local businesses and businesses from China and the Middle East. 
looking for inward investment opportunities. It's difficult, I think, for people not ingrained in university life to fully comprehend that universities are not public sector organisations, though we do have a large amount of public sector responsibilities due to the funding mechanism. We're also not fully a commercial organisation, though we have to raise our own revenue and fully engage in income generating activities while retaining our primary mission of developing knowledge, teaching, research and enterprise. And whilst many universities, including your university, are registered as charities, we're not solely a charity because we're engaged in the commercial and public sector. Universities are strange beasts. We are simultaneously a public sector, a commercial company and a charity. And we operate those three simultaneously by focusing on you, our students. You are our main reason for existing as an organisation and we are wholly committed to ensuring that you have the relevant learning, knowledge, skills and resources to broaden your intellectual horizon, your tolerance of other people and your passion to support your community. Many of you today graduating from the Centre for Excellence in Learning and Teaching will go on to successful careers in teaching itself, research or graduate level employment. We know from external feedback that you are highly regarded and sought after as future employees. At the School of Sports and Wellbeing, we pride ourselves on offering work-based and practical experiences. We're currently part of a higher education sector pilot with only 12 other universities with our professional body, the Chartered Institute for the Management of Sport and Physical Activity, to embed new professional standards into the programmes this will be the first one to go to market with an endorsed programme. This year, one of our students was awarded a Higher Education Hero, a women's football initiative run by the British Universities and College Sport and Football Association. And one was invited to present their research at the prestigious Posters in Parliament event. Another one won a bronze medal at the Commonwealth Games. We're proud of you. We're proud that through your social engagement, many of you engage in voluntary activity across the community and you do make a difference to people's lives. A good example would be those of you who are involved in the Sir Tom Finney Soccer Centre that runs out the university sports arena. The work of the club was highlighted and celebrated with the visit of Prince Harry earlier this year. So I would argue that one should never underestimate the experiences you have in your university life and the way it shapes your thinking and influences your future. The university has a long history of transforming lives. We were first established on the 7th of October, 1828, as the Institute for the Diffusion of Knowledge. So this year, the year you graduate, your university celebrates its 190th anniversary. The original group that formed what became the University of Central Lancashire were radical in their thinking about education and learning and knowledge. And we recognise that in today's world, we still have to continue with that original mission and that spirit of radicalism. And we need to continue to be innovative, to implement creative thinking and help you to continue with your lives more equipped and more resilient. Our success is achieved together staff and students seeking new knowledge to provide clarity and certainty in this uncertain world. And there are certain things we know. We know because we've tested you and assessed you, you'll know more than that than me, I'm sure. But we know that you are graduates and postgraduates. We know that you would have worked for your degree. There's a sense of certainty too that you hold on to those beliefs and values that promote our communities, the principles and approaches that we value and are enshrined in the university. For instance, common sense, the judgment to do the right thing for others, compassion, to treat others with consideration, care and honesty, teamwork, to think and act together, valuing collective as highly as individual achievements, attentiveness, to take personal and professional pride in the quality of your work, 
but show that you can listen and care for others as you do that work. And trust, showing respect and integrity in all that you do. We hope that we have provided a space for you in the university to discuss ideas, pursue different views and perspectives, explore new ways of doing things and seek new solutions. So take your university values with you as you go on with your life. We know something else about you. We know you have the ability to understand complex issues. We know you can be critical in making judgments. We know you have the confidence to challenge. We know you have the intellect to impact on the status quo. We know you have developed a value for civil society and a willingness to make a personal contribution to its functions. We know this because you're here today as graduates and postgraduates. So observe, analyze, devise new solutions, keep learning, exercise that intellect, and be ready to intervene as you go on with your life. Make the most of every opportunity that comes along. Don't let chances and opportunities pass you by, and don't be afraid or unwilling to try different things. Forge your own path, but equally be ready to compromise when you need to. We look to you. You are our future hope. Participate in processes, in debates, in organizations, in business and in commerce, and seek to make a difference. We know something else about you too. We know that gaining the awards that you've earned and which we celebrate today is difficult. That must be so. I make no apologies. Few things in life of genuine value are easy to gain, and a success in any university is far from easy. We would have demanded from you dedication, commitment, intellectual endeavor, and sheer hard work. I'm sure that many of you here in the audience today, families, friends and colleagues, would have been called upon to provide a helping hand in your journey. So on behalf of you, our graduates, I would like to thank you for that invaluable support and ask that our graduates join me in sharing our appreciation to you. As I said, universities are strange beasts. We're an academic community, a collection of scholars that we bring together, dedicated to learning and supporting transformation. You would have been taught by a dedicated group of academic staff, many of whom are international leaders in their field, all of whom devote their professional lives to the teaching, learning, and development of their subjects. You'd have also been supported by many highly dedicated professional staff members who have provided the services and infrastructure that have made your success possible. So on your behalf, I would like to thank every one of our staff and ask once again that you join me in applauding them. In a few minutes, the names of our graduates will be called out and we'll applaud and cheer. Please make as much noise as you can. This is a celebratory ceremony. If there are any babies or infants in the audience, if they cry or make a noise, please don't leave the auditorium. We don't mind at all. We don't mind the noise. They're our future students. Each of you will enter on stage right as graduates. You'll cross the stage, you'll shake my hand, I'll congratulate you, and you'll exit stage left as graduates and postgraduates. We do this to publicly acknowledge your individual achievements and to congratulate you personally. I know everyone here will be as enthusiastic with your applause for our first graduate as you will be for our final graduate. We take genuine pride in your achievement. I'm confident that you'll go out in the world and bring not only real social and economic benefits to yourself, but also to the communities where you will live. Whatever you decide to do next, wherever in the world you find yourself, you'll always be a member of this university. I hope at some stage you will return to your academic home. But for now, on behalf of everybody here, very well done, 
congratulations and good luck for a happy and successful life. Thank you. Vice-Chancellor, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, the Academic Board confers an honorary fellowship on Stephanie Slater, MBE. <coughs> Vice-Chancellor, Swimming champion Stephanie Slater, MBE, is an individual whose determination to succeed is inspiring to us all. Born in Preston, Stephanie's career path began when she joined Preston Swimming Club at the age of four. In 2009, she represented Great Britain for the first time and her links with the university began in the same year when she embarked on the sports therapy program. She completed her first year and then took up a place at the British Swimming Intensive Training Centre as part of preparations for the London 2012 Olympics. After picking up a serious arm injury during training, Stephanie was told she wouldn't swim again. But the following year, she got back in the pool and classified as a Paralympic swimmer. She made her first appearance for the GB Paralympic team at the World Championships in Montreal the following year, winning one gold and two silver medals. 2014 brought more success a silver medal at the Commonwealth Games, and seven gold medals, a world record, and European records at the European Championships in Eindhoven. And she didn't stop there, claiming gold and silver medals at the Paralympic Games in Rio in 2016. Stephanie was forced to retire from competitive sport on medical grounds in February this year. Throughout her career, she has maintained an indomitable will to succeed despite personal challenges. And in 2017, her dedication and achievements were recognized when she was awarded an MBE for her, her services to sport. Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the Academic Board, it is with great pleasure that I present Seth Stephanie Slater, MBE, for the award of Honorary Fellow of the University of Central Lancashire. I would now like to invite Stephanie Slater to say a few words. I am extremely honoured and humbled by the University of Central Lancashire in bestowing this prestigious award to me. Thank you to the orator for your speech today. Can I firstly congratulate all the graduates it must be an amazing feeling to finally receive your degree. I'm sure there's been lots, a lot of blood, sweat and tears along the way, but it has all been worth it and you can celebrate today. Well done to you all. Having spent a year at UCLan in 2009 to 2010, I was lucky to represent the university at the books competition in Sheffield, winning a gold medal in the 50 meter breaststroke and also helping the relay team make it to their first ever final. I've also shared my experiences with UCAN students 
to help them with their various courses, and I hope I can continue to do this in the future. Looking back over the last 10 years of my life, I never thought my career path would have turned out the way it has. When I left college at the age of 18, I had my mind set on becoming a sports therapist, whilst pursuing my goal of competing at the Olympic Games. I was fortunate enough to be offered some fantastic opportunities along the way too. In life, we might set out on a clear path, but end up having to take a different route to get to your end goal. Barriers may be thrown in your way, and you may question if you can really do it, but if you set your mind on something, you should never let anything stand in your way. With hard work, resilience, and determination, you can do it. I would like to finally thank my parents for encouraging me every step of the way and experiencing the highs and lows throughout my career. To my fantastic family, friends, and supporters who have also followed my journey, so thank you. Vice-Chancellor, the presentation of graduands and award holders will now take place. Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the Academic Board, I present those who have gained awards in the Centre for Excellence in Learning and Teaching. For research entitled, Employability and Employment, the Experiences and Perceptions of Deaf Graduates, the degree of Doctor of Education is awarded to Lynn Barnes. Research entitled Looking Beyond the Label, What are the Educational Experiences of a Cross-Section of Four Cohorts of Students Labelled as Non-Traditional, the degree of Doctor of Education is awarded to Jacqueline Dawn Dodding. Research entitled Post-Qualification Education and Professional Identity in the Contested Landscape of Complementary and Alternative Medicine, a Case of Transformative Learning in an Online Setting, the degree of Doctor of Education is awarded to Hazel Partington. Research entitled, Telling Tales Out of Class, Exploring How the Relationship Between Practice and Praxis Shapes the Professional Identity of In-Service Undergraduate Trainee Teachers, the degree of Doctor of Education is awarded to Claire Louise Winder. Education in Professional Practice in Education, 
Donna Marie Davies. <clears throat> Postgraduate Certificate in Education, Education and Training, Amnyam Kiran Ahmed. Saida Farwell Batul, <laughs> Halima Bibi, <laughs> Alexander Giza Laszlo Botosh, <laughs> Amelia Buckley. Samantha Jane Clegg. Nathan Philip Crabtree. Samiha Desai. Gemma Diva. Sinead Rebecca Devers, Charlotte Ann Earp, Kudsia Farhat, Ebony Louise Gaskell. Jade Alexandra Gilder, Emma Gunn, Daniel Hilton, Hannah Kennedy. Matthew Lees, <laughs> Bethany Marie Lynch, <laughs> Natalie Mason, <laughs> Katie Emma Scholastica Mayhew. Jennifer Sarah Morgan, Sean O'Malley, Rachel Pettino, Shannon K. Riley. Mariam Raymond Shah, <laughs> Sandia Sharman, <laughs> Samantha Smith, <laughs> Stephen Taylor. Christopher Kevin Wright, Georgina Armstrong, Saida Amara Batul, Kathy Bezik, Tina Blees O'Toole. Andrew James Bonham, <laughs> Lorna Brackenbury, <laughs> Zoe Brown, <laughs> Sheila Byrne. Amy Rebecca Calderbank, (Applause) 
Georgia Kearney. Michael Cordry, Dominique Fuentes, David Michael Gaskell, Stevie Lee Gowthwaite. Victoria Green, Sarah Hicks, Angela Barbara Hughes, Catherine Louise Jennison, Leah Kinane. Kirsty Lee, Jennifer Lochlin, Laura Jane Cherie Lowe, Isabella Macefield. Saima Mahmood, Andrew Mitchell, Andrea Claire Charlotte Morrison, Malgozata Mountbatten. Melanie Piper Smith, <laughs> Rachel Ratcliffe, <laughs> Suzanne Riley, <laughs> Zach Riley. Rachel Sally Sawyer, Victoria Louise Whitehouse, Jade Leia Williams, Jessica Lucy Williams. Postgraduate Certificate in Education, English and Literacy, Fatima Hussein, <laughs> Kirsty Proudfoot, <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Education and History, Bethany Ackers. Bradley Frankland, Arnold Joseph Maiden, Lewis Rea, Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Education and Professional Studies. Kaylee Louise Brannan, Charlotte Brooks, Laura Darby, Maria Davies. With the Education Team Prize for showing commitment to studies, Rehana Karim Dayala. <laughs> Dr.
Jennifer Kate Dwozeki. Karima Armesh Inaja. Sadia Ghazi. Lindsay Gooley. Kaylee Marie Govan. Molly Ray Kennedy. Louise Marie Kinnaird. Mariam Mahmood. Jennifer Barbara Marsden. Grace Helen, Helen Maymond. Abigail Morton. Aisha Nye. Natalie Payne. Emma Jane Pearson. Jasmine Leah Powell. Nicola Riley. Eleanor Rowett. Kim Louise Sankey. Kelly Ellen Wilson. Lydia Wynne Stanley. Jodie Leanne Burrows. With the Allen Hurst Research Dissertation Award, Kerry Jones. <laughs> Samira Mohammed. <laughs> Elizabeth Jane Peck. <laughs> Crystal Lee Shaw. Alexandra Lee Darlington. Karen Mary Dickinson. Dale Lowry. Elizabeth Victoria Wilcox Wood. Claire Rachel Gregory. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Education and Psychology with the Jim Lane Prize for Outstanding Scholarship, Megan Butler. <laughs> Ferdos Iqbal. Aisha Kotia, Chantelle Louise Martha Milne, Sadia Nagdi, Shagufta Saeed. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Education and Sociology, Sahur Ege. Woo! 
with the school prize for best dissertation, Sean Christopher Pittman. <laughs> Certificate in Education, Education and Training, Helen Burney. Sarah Dempsey. Lewis Keith Hurst. Natalie Ashworth. Alexandra Austin. Joanne Megan Bowes. Dion Bristow, Paul Carr, Shauna Marie Carrick, William Carson, Alexandra Deary. Colette Fitzgerald, <laughs> Hannah Gray, <laughs> Sean Hanney, <laughs> Scott Horton, <laughs> Christopher Jonathan Huntington. Lindsay Jackson Guy, <laughs> Patricia Joyce, <laughs> Claire Lloyd, <laughs> James McShane. Andrew Charles Moran, Leanne Naylor, Amanda Neal, Edgar Eric Platt, Louise Helen Robinson, Kerry Romano, Nicola Slater, Sadie Wakefield, Emily Victoria Wealthy, Sandra White, Lorraine Wood, <laughs> Vice Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of awards from the Centre for Excellence in Learning and Teaching. Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the Academic Board, I present those who have gained awards in the School of Sport and Wellbeing. For a thesis entitled, What Do We Do With The Rest Of The Day? Examining Non-Shot-Making Activity In Competitive Golf, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Thomas Charles Alexander Davies.
Master of Professional Studies in Elite Performance, Orla Curran. Master of Science in Sports Business Management, Robert Wright. <laughs> Master of Science in Strength and Conditioning, Tiernan Daniel Carlin. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Adventure Sport Coaching, Catherine Burke. Jake Lewis Ditcham. Christopher Horsey. William Patey. Sean Irene Pomeroy. Louis Sivori. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Exercise and Fitness Management, Lucy Fowler. Adam Martindale. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Outdoor Leadership, Chris Barlow. Christopher James Bradley. Hayden Simon Bradley. Martin Clark. Ben Evans. Rhys Thomas Lovett Fraser. Samuel Galea. Levi Hobby. <laughs> Rebecca Marlowe. Tom Matthews. William Walker. Elise Wall. Shelby Whelan. Robert Bradley Williamson. Marianne Wilson. Thomas Wilson. Craig Wright. Nathan Garnett. Edward Harrison. And with the Remote Area Risk International Prize for Academic Excellence on an Outdoor Program, James Nolan. <laughs> Bethany Wilson. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Sports Coaching with the Mark Lees Endeavour Award, Omid Husseini. <laughs> Jordan Kane. <laughs> Warren Turner. <laughs> Rebecca Worthington. Daniel Stephen Adamson. Jack Alder. Deborah Ashcroft. Callum Barlow. Patrick Emerson Bibby. Matthew David Blackhall. Joshua Coates. Ronan Conlon. 
Daniel Court. Courtney Jo Cowgill. Saul Critchley. Joshua Cameron Dent. Lewis Doherty. Matthew Thomas Dunn. Christopher Dwyer. James Thomas Fitzmorris. Evan Gilfoyle. Alexander Goulburn. Callum Greenwood. Elliot Paul Gwinnon. With the SO8 Sportswear Award for Academic Excellence in Sports Coaching, Emma Hargreaves. Aaron Daniel Hodgkinson. Brandon Hope. Corey Logan. Nathaniel Lyons. John Joseph McGuinness. James Edward McVitie. Josh Melvin. Jack James Morris. Mike Norman. Alan Philip Nuttall. Corey Jack Patterson. Abdulghani Ramadan. Rebecca Ramshed. Mark Rideout. Lydia Rimmer. Cheryl Chamon. Matthew Shawcross. Declan Anthony Sheridan. Samuel Solly. Thomas Frederick Sowerby. Benjamin Sparrow. Daniel Michael Talbot. Louis Taylor. Anthony Thomas. Zach Watts. Kieran John Williams. Owen Llewellyn Williams. Anthony James Wilson. Bachelor of Arts in Sports Coaching, Rhys Uller. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Sports Coaching and Development, Marcus Barlow. George Arthur Brown. Matthew Chadwick. Edward Clugston. Juliet Ejidi. Michaela Fegan.
Wilson Gurung. Akbar Hayat. Usman Hussein. George Kelly. Munir Hassan Khan. David Montgomery. Joshua Mullin. Munde Niziru Imosi Ozoya. Jordan Price. Benjamin Joseph Sweeney. Sophie Valentine. Nathan James Yates Price. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Sports Studies, Himera Amin. <laughs> Naomi Victoria Barclay. <laughs> Nathan Bellevue de Silva. <laughs> Wing Quan Mini Chu. Lucy Jane Clayton. <laughs> Ashley Jane Comber. <laughs> Corey Deer. <laughs> Bumika Doshi. <laughs> Shannon Drain. Melissa, Melissa Hurst. Jennifer Elizabeth Milner. Matthew Nuttall. Owen O'Neill. Cormac Quigley. With the school award for ac academic achievement in the face of adversity, Faison Routh. <laughs> Matthew Reed. <laughs> Nasa Abdul Shakur. <laughs> Jennifer Spate. With the award for academic excellence in sports studies, Stuart Walters. <laughs> Nicola White. <laughs> Georgia Wilson. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with honors in nutrition and exercise science, human nutrition, Amy Elizabeth Bond. Anna Kate May Brazier. <laughs> Maisie Duckworth. <laughs> William James Martin Edge. <laughs> Samuel Ernil. <laughs> Connor Garrity. With the prize for best performance in the final year project in sport, exercise, and nutritional sciences, Sarah Hopkins. <laughs> Laura Mavis Hornby. <laughs> Azad Kalik. <laughs> Zainab Lahiri. Robert Swarbrick. 
Rochelle Louise Whelan. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Nutrition and Exercise Science, Personal Fitness Training, Alex Hindley. <laughs> Ailish McKenzie. <laughs> Alexandra Joanna Melrose. Corey Peter Murphy. Christopher Adam Waite. Jacob Thomas Whittam. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Nutrition and Exercise Sciences, Adam Bamber. Amira Bashir Patel. <laughs> Harvey Booth. <laughs> Joshua Dyer. <laughs> Jared Thomas Hancocks. <laughs> With the Leon Atkinson Memorial Award for academic achievement in the face of adversity, Andrew Haycock. Nathan Hilditch. George Loftus. Nicola Jane Oakey. Ben Povey. Jack Rowell. Nathan Sharrett. Harrison Joseph Smith. William Andrew Toff. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Sports Business Management, Gregory Bishop. Tayonga Chinamalunga. Charlie Forrest. Ayman Yusuf Hassoun. Suleiman Hussein. Daniel Kiri. Rahim Mir. Robert James Parkinson. Tom Ryder. Jack Slaughter. Matthew David Harvey. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Sports Science, Jack Bailey. <laughs> Chelsea Bradford. <laughs> Olivia Canty. <laughs> Aidan Cook. <laughs> Samuel Foster. Hannah Jane Collingwood Foxcroft. <laughs> Thomas Glenn. <laughs> Jenny Rebecca Howarth. <laughs> Jafar Iqbal. <laughs> Daniel McKeon. Denny Milova. <laughs> Sophie Louise Nixon. <laughs> Nathan Pennington. <laughs> Bradley Savage. 
Bachelor of Science with Honours in Strength and Conditioning, Jacques Ainsworth. <laughs> Stefan Charles Alman. <laughs> Leonardo Philippe Perez Alves. <laughs> Kieran Atkinson. <laughs> Amy Bradshaw. Nigel Close. <laughs> Terry Cummings. <laughs> and with the award for academic excellence in sport exercise and nutritional sciences, Sean Fleming. <laughs> Kieran Richard Harvey. <laughs> Stephen Higgins. Jack Inman. Luke McIntyre. Miles Asiju Livingston Nesbeth. Natasha Ratcliffe. Ryan Waite. Foundation Degree in Arts in Outdoor Adventure Studies, Martin Blackmore. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Sports Science, Macaulay Farrington. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Sports Coaching, Coyote Osamlana. Vice Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of awards from the School of Sport and Wellbeing. Vice Chancellor, the presentations are completed. I call on Gemma Gauss, Vice President, Education from the Students' Union of the University of Central Lancashire to respond on behalf of those awarded today. Vice-Chancellor, graduates, families, friends and loved ones, it is my honour to stand here today and speak on behalf of students. Firstly, I'd like to take the opportunity to congratulate you all on your amazing achievements. Well done. <laughs> University is much more than gaining a qualification and a certificate. For many of us here today, it is a means to transform our lives to gain opportunities, to create social mobility, and to escape the disadvantages and the oppression that we face in day-to-day -day life. UCLan is rooted in a strong working class and diverse community in Preston. It prides itself on being a widening participation university. And many of you here today are proof of what can happen when we challenge adversity. Coming to university, for many of us, was a dream we dared not dream when growing up. We never believed that it could be a reality. Some of you graduating today will have been scared, will have questioned your right to be here, and will have felt like you'd never succeed. Well, to those of you who felt this way, just take a moment, look around, look at where you are, how far you've come, and how much you have achieved. You are here and you have done it. <laughs> Studying is a big part of the university experience, but let's not forget about all the amazing things students achieve alongside this. Whether you have volunteered, been a course rep, 
or being part of a sports team or society, the passion you have demonstrated is something to treasure. Hold on to that passion and let it drive you forward wherever that may lead. To all the families, friends, staff and loved ones that have supported you on your journey, we thank you. And last but not least, I want to say, as you navigate the next move in life, always remember we have a bubble around us that we like to call a comfort zone. Now, this place is somewhere we feel safe, we feel secure, but unfortunately, just outside of that bubble is all the good stuff in life. So burst out of that bubble, break out of your comfort zone and go get the good stuff. It's out there and it's just waiting for you. So class of 2018, Please go celebrate because you deserve it. It is now my pleasure to introduce the University of Central Lancashire Chamber Choir. The members of the University Chamber Choir are all students of music theatre within the School of Journalism, Media and Performance. The choir is directed by the University's musician in residence, Mark Goggins. The University is extremely proud of the growing reputation and success of the Chamber Choir. In recent years, the Chamber Choir has won national competitions, including the BBC Radio 3 Adult Choir of the Year. The Chamber Choir has performed on BBC One, BBC Four, and on BBC Radio 3, as well as at some major performance venues, including the Royal Festival Hall, Birmingham Symphony Hall, and the Bridgewater Hall. In June, the Chamber Choir returned from their latest overseas concert tour, which once again received great critical acclaim. This morning, the Chamber Choir will sing May It Be by Enya.
today is, of course, a day of great celebration for everyone here. And we need to celebrate in an appropriate way. Family and friends, there's a great photo opportunity coming up, so you might want to get your cameras at the ready. Could I please ask all the graduates to stand and take off your mortarboards? This will be a great relief to some of you, as I've seen that they've been balancing rather precariously on your heads. So in a moment, I'm going to ask you to wave your mortarboard and as is the tradition here at UCLan, you must wave it as vigorously as you can in recognition of all your hard work and achievements. However, please do keep a tight hold of your mortarboard <laughs> as it is now yours to take home and keep. So, on a count of three, I want you all to wave your mortarboards in the air, and at the same time, I want everyone else to cheer three times. One, two, three. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Thank you all for that. If you could please be seated. So as we bring this ceremony to a close, I would like to thank everyone who has been involved in making today such a happy and memorable occasion. And thank you all for coming and for sharing this special day with the university community. I would like to invite you all to return to a reception at the university's Foster Building, where we will continue to celebrate the success of today's graduates. Gowns can be left at the Foster Building after the event. Please may I ask you all to stand now for the national anthem. The platform party will now leave the stage and form a celebratory guard of honour. We are going to conclude the ceremony with a final opportunity to applaud the success of today's graduates. Graduates, you will shortly be processing out of the hall. 
A university usher will prompt your row when you need to stand up. Please make sure you take all of your belongings with you. Guests, please may I ask that you all remain seated until the platform party has left the hall. You will be able to rejoin your graduate downstairs. Thank you.